I recently got a comment from somebody saying they couldn't figure out my channel. Well, that's okay, because honestly, I don't think I can figure out my channel. I just make whatever I want to make, and if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. So it's sort of like one of those, like, uh... One of those things where, like, if you don't want to watch my channel on one day, you might want to watch it the next day. You never know. Uh, one thing that I can tell you is that right now I've been doing an NHL NBA predictions uh, video every day. I haven't done an NHL predictions video the last couple days because it's All-Star break. So the next time there'll be an NHL predictions video will be Monday. Um, so that's kind of cool. I did an NFL predictions weekly throughout the season. Um, I'm going to be doing... Uh, Major League Baseball predictions throughout the season. I'm going to try to watch most Mariners games this season and make videos about them. So I finish my last day of classes is May 11th, meaning I'll actually have plenty of time to watch a lot of Mariners games. And I'm only in class four days a week. So hopefully I can make a bunch of Mariners videos all throughout the year. Um, you know, just a quick 20, 10, 20 minute reaction video throughout there. Uh, which, fine, whatever, fun stuff. If I can't do it, I can't do it. I'm not going to promise that it'll be every day, but it's something I want to do every day. Um, I've been making videos um, about the books I've read. I make shorts because, honestly, like, it's just a fun place. And I get decent views on shorts. Some shorts, sometimes I get no views. Sometimes I get two or 3,000. I think my highest viewed video is, like, 60,000. 60 or 70,000. The one where I accused my mother of protesting Queen Elizabeth's funeral. That was a good video. That was a really good video. Um, I've been working on longer form content lately. I'm in college right now. I'm in a five-year combined bachelor's, master's program. And I'm in like the end of third year. I have to take summer classes this year to stay on track because I, I made some changes around things. Um... So it's sort of like one of those uh, things where I like have to do a little bit extra, but also I personally like taking summer classes because like in order to stay on time, generally you need to take 30 credits throughout the year. So if I take 15 and 15, that's 30. But if I take 12 and 12, that's only 24. I'm doing 14 right now, so realistically, I would only technically need one credit in the summer. But if I take 14 now, 15 in the summer, that's tw or 15 in the uh, fall, that's 29. And then if I take nine in the summer, that gets me to 36, 7, 37, which would mean that the 13 I would do in the spring, 13, 14, 15 I would do in the spring, would get me higher and uh, move me closer to finishing. So it's kind of a cool thing. So I can't say that I'm going to be super active every day. So like on Mondays, I have one class. It's 50 minutes. It's a nice little easy class that I just hang out in. I get to school early, hang out with people. There's a, we, got, we got stuff to do at school, so it's cool. I might make videos on Monday. I might not, oh, other than my NBA, NHL, MLB predictions. Now on Tuesdays, I'm in class from 1230 to 2. And then I got a break until four. So basically that's eat lunch and go to the bathroom. Maybe take a 15, 20 minute break to do nothing. Maybe, maybe read up on um, my notes from last week. Because it's a three hour class. I don't get out until 7.10. And it's a four credit class. So it's kind of annoying. But it is it is what it is. Then on Wednesdays I got a three hour class from 12 to 4. Well, no, 1 to 4. 1 to 3.40 basically. We got a break in both of them, so that's kind of cool. Um, so that's nice. On Thursdays, I only got class until 1 o'clock, because it's, it's the continuation of Tuesday's class, or 2 o'clock, 12.30 to 2, uh, which is really nice, but I joined a club that meets on Thursdays at 7.30 at night. So what I did um, two days ago, this Thursday was the first time we, we had a met, had a meeting, was I went to class had some lunch, sat down in the library, just did the reading, just did the reading on my tablet for, for every class as like just a doing the reading, whatever, nice and easy. And then came out and made some videos on my TikTok channel. I've got 66,600 followers on um, 
TikTok, which is kind of cool. I'm hoping to get 100,000 followers on there by the end of the year, but I keep losing followers on there. It is what it is. Um, I haven't been going live or any of the stuff that you need to do to actually build followers on TikTok. So, whatever. Who, who cares? But I've been doing stuff on here to try to build followers up. My goal is to, by the end of the... I wanted to say by the start of, but realist, uh, being realistic here, is by the end of Major League Baseball season to be monetized on here, to basically be able to say, all right, I can make a couple bucks a month extra on YouTube, whatever. Maybe a couple hundred, maybe a few bucks. Who knows? Who knows what it's going to be? So I'm going to try to post longer videos on the weekends. Um, we'll see what happens with NASCAR with their uh, Bush Clash tonight at the LA Coliseum because it's raining. I'm going to try to make... I, I've been I'm a Formula One fan, and I have not been able to grasp my thoughts on Lewis Hamilton to Ferrari, so that's why I haven't made a video on that on here or on TikTok. Um, I have another YouTube channel called Lou Gehrig is the Greatest, which I just put nonsense on. If I can get that one monetized, too, it would be great, but yeah. Um... So, yeah, that's a cool thing. What else do I do? Um, I play card games and tabletop RPGs. Um, I just got recently back into Magic the Gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and I'm playing a Pathfinder game right now on Thursdays, which is cool. So Fridays, I don't have school. I don't have class. But I do have a couple of Fridays where I have to go and do some things, where I have to deal with some things. Uh, a certain nature of just doing what I got to do for my four credit class where it's outside of classwork so that that makes it better um the other thing with that is saturday and sunday i'm not doing anything right now because i'm unemployed right now which is fine you know college student unemployed i have i have some money just you know to get through um, and i have some more money coming in in a couple weeks um now the thing that i gotta gotta do is um in about two weeks, I think on the 13th, I'm going to go out and go and Uber had, I used to be an Uber driver before my car got destroyed by just the engine just blew up. Uh, I used to be an Uber driver. And what I'm going to do is they have this program where you can rent a vehicle for a couple hundred a week. I'll, what I'll do is on weekends, I'll drive for Uber um, and try to build up some funds so that I can have just extra cash just laying around. The goal will be to have just like a couple thousand to just just sit in the bank uh, be, uh, between the summer and the fall, or between the spring and the fall semester. So that I'm just like, all right, cool, we can do what we got to do. Everything's good, no real big deal. And then like in the summer, I'll probably focus on creating content, creating baseball content, creating auto racing content. Maybe maybe doing like three four weeks, like in June of driving for Uber like full time 40 hours 40 50 hours just just busting it out just to build up some cash so that's going to be fun and I'm planning on making videos about that because I honestly think it's going to be crappy but I think it'll be fun to make the money in the situation I'm in where I can make my own schedule or I'm like I don't have to deal with everything plus I got a lot of doctors appointments to go to I got an appointment on the 5th the 14th the 23rd and the 28th just this month. And then next month, uh, on the 14th and the 28th. And then the following month, I don't know the dates. And I got like three appointments in April. And they always want to take my blood. I should make a video about that. I had to get my uh, tetanus shot at my physical. So I, the last time I had one was in 2014. So you're supposed to get one every 10 years. So I was just like, yeah, just go ahead and give me one. And they take my blood so much, and I've gotten so many vaccines since 2020. I used to be afraid of needles. But now, at this point, the nurse just walked in. I'm like, yeah, I'm, this is my name. This is my date of birth. Left arm. Here you go. Have a nice day. It was like, I didn't even do it yet. I'm like, oh, okay. Just, just go ahead and get it over with. I was like ahead of him. He didn't even have the vaccine out. <laughs> Which was great. Like, Because I was like, all right. Let's go! Vaccinate me! So, yeah. And this is, this is me just rambling, just going off. No script, no nothing. I don't usually script things. I write. 
but I don't usually script. Like, I've written fiction, I've written nonfiction, I've written critical essays. I, obviously, I journal like everybody in the world usually does at some point in their life. But, like, yeah, I, I, I don't usually write scripts. I have written two feature-length film scripts that were interesting. I, I wrote them when I was, like, 16 or 17, so I was like, okay, it is what it is. Um, but, yeah. That's, that's a thing that happened. But yeah, this is just me. I kind of just go like this. One thing I want to learn is how to score baseball. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a um, baseball scorebook, I think. And then like every week or every every day with the Mariners games, try to do it. Um, like I have like, I like to practice and everything. I have like the pitch by pitch thing going up. Because I think that would be fun and it would help me out trying to figure out who the MVP of the game is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Plenty more coming up in a moment on the Sabres Hockey Network.